Hi there, how are you all doing today? I must say that I'm quite surprised. I woke up this morning to find that we'd had an enormous amount of rain overnight and it had turned bitterly cold. And when I say bitterly cold, like icy, like there's snow on the mountains, and we'd had this last week temperatures of nearly 30 degrees Celsius. So it's been quite an interesting journey the last few days. Anyway, we are now in October and time is marching on towards Christmas. So I thought I'd share with you just a very, very quick, simple idea that I'm going to talk you through just to show you what I've done to create these lovely little stars. So the first thing that you're going to need to have is a wooden cutout of some sort. And you don't need to do just stars. This will work on any wooden cutout. You're going to need to have some aluminium shim or foil. You could use something like the clean inside of a soda can. Or you could use, um, what is the other thing? Oh yes, the foil trays that you get food in as long as it's clean. But the normal tin foil that you use for cooking won't work. You can also buy foil in some countries in different colors, like golds and silvers, so that would add to the interest of your design. And you're going to then take some double-sided tape. Whoopsie, where's my one with the double-sided tape? You're going to stick that onto the back of your piece of foil. And I'm fortunate that I was able to buy a roll that is 30 centimeters long, which is about the length of a ruler in, in width. So um, that was really nice. So you stick that onto the back. And then if you've got an embossing machine, you just simply run your metal through one of your embossing plates. So you could choose whichever design you wanted to. You could pick up little dots or little stars doesn't really matter and then you would take your shape and on the reverse side where you have the double-sided tape you would trace out your shapes now remember that this is going to be slightly larger than the design once you cut it because when you go around something you're always adding a millimeter or two and that is absolutely fine because you need that the next thing I would do would be to paint these inside edges and that's quite a quick process to do I've done mine here with a little sort of um, what they call an antique black. It's it's yeah, it's a little slightly sort of metallic, but it's more sort of a very pale charcoaly color, just because it recedes into the distance and doesn't stand out. But you could use an accent color like a red or a green or a white as well. That's no problem. But when you have that little bit of extra foil, that's quite nice because you can just bend it down the edge. So once you've actually traced around your designs, you cut them out, and then you take your shapes that you've cut out. Make sure that you get the orientation correctly because if your stars are hand cut, like this one has been cut by hand with a scroll saw, then you'll find that the points aren't always absolutely symmetrical. And then you peel the backing off and once you've stuck it down, you just simply take a sucker stick and you literally just squish the edges over like that. And because it has that adhesive backing, it's going to lie down nice and flat on the inside of your star. So you'll get a very, very nice edge. Now my stars have a little hole in them. So once you've covered this up, the, <laughs> the trick is to find out where the hole is. And then just use something like um, maybe a toothpick or a ball embossing tool, um, maybe one of those cake skewers, just to prick a hole in to that so that you can just get it nice and neat, flattened on the inside so that you can then thread a ribbon or something through. Let me hold something up against it. And you'll see that my little hole is right there. I don't know how easy you can... Oh, there we go. You can see that now. So you want to make sure that you can um, thread something through. And then these are lovely, either just as decorations to hang on a Christmas tree, or you could use them as gift tags. Um, if you didn't do hearts... I mean, sorry, if you didn't do stars, you could do hearts or you could do other shapes and use them really as um, just decor for your home. And if you have a design such as this one that I've got, which is Table Mountain, our most beautiful mountain in my city where I live, in Cape Town, this has a one-way orientation. So you can see that the design is different on this side to that. So when I come to stick it, I've got to be very sure that I'm tracing it on correctly, that I don't actually flip the design and then my mountain will be incorrectly positioned like that. So I would then take my design from the front of my embossed material in the way that it should be and I'd simply move it to the back in the same position and trace it so that when the sticky stuff comes off I will get that in the right position but it really is a fun thing to do and certainly very very nice to be able to do if you are actually going to be able to make gifts or you want to mass produce something this would be lovely for a wedding as well um, you could do all sorts of things with this so I think it will be a fun idea it won't take terribly long to do if you've got an embossing machine 
And I'd love to hear your comments. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a like and um, consider subscribing to my channel. There's lots to look at in the playlist. Bye for now.